Okay, again, uh, we're continuing with electrical properties. Remember, we left off last time was we described the, you know, the energy is one half the capacitor times the voltage squared. We learned that the charge is the char uh, capacitor times the voltage. And we knew that the energy is equal to the charge times the voltage in general. So we kind of come up with, kind of use these two expressions to come up with this one, along with the idea that we charge uh, on a certain path. Therefore, we get this triangle, therefore, we get this one half in there. So now we come to this question now how do we know how much a material reacts? So, a high capacitance. You know, has a large charge for a voltage, for a certain voltage, and the lower capacitor has a lower charge developed for a certain voltage. And charge is developed when the charges inside move. So we kind of call it the dielectric permittivity governs this at a material and the material level. So let's take let's, let's try to analyze this. So let's say you had you know again this material, you fill it with this material inside of it. Uh, the blue is, you know, electrode, it's a metal, like type of film, and the red is what we call a dielectric capacitor, basically this is slab of material, parallel plate capacitor, so that I'm telling you that this uh, material has a dielectric permittivity of that epsilon or uh, red. So the capacitance is equal to the area times the dielectric permittivity times the relative dielectric permittivity because the dielectric permittivity uh, is normally defined relative to the dielectric permittiv permittivity of free, sa free space. Believe it or not, even though if you have nothing inside of here, just air or even vacuum, you will get some charge um, for voltage, uh, which is something uh, you know beyond the scope of this video to explain uh, or even describe. But uh, this is what happens. So we define kind of the, any material uh, dielectric permittivity relative to the permittivity of free space. This is a relative, like what well, we can say. Okay, we're talking about the air pressure relative to atmospheric pressure, uh, or the the temperature relative to um, you know, a certain degree, or like mass relative to one mass. You know, we, we, we're, 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 let's say I'm 100, 200 pounds. I'm 200 pounds relative to 100, one pound. So I'm 200 times one pound. This is basically the same idea. So this is the capacitance. The capacitance equals the area times the dielectric permittivity uh, divided by thickness. So if you increase the area, we had this, we're going to get more charge, right? We have more materials. We have a linearly more amount of material for the area. So if we increase the area, we have this size, and then we increase it to this size. You know, you're going to get a higher capacitance because you just have more material. But what about the thickness issue? Well, we have more material also if we make it bigger, right? So if we have this versus this, we have more material, right? We had, we had more material down here, but why don't we get a higher capacitance? Well, that's because the thickness, again, is related to the electric field. Remember, voltage equals electric field times the thickness. And therefore, if we increase the thickness, the voltage stays the same because that's what we're applying. And that's what we're doing. You know, all these equations are relative to voltage. So therefore, the electric field is going down. So if you increase the size, if you have this same voltage, but if, but if you make this farther, away here, over here, if you move this plate farther with 5 volts and then 0 volts, you're going to be decreasing the electric field because you're moving the plates apart. So when you decrease the electric field, you're decreasing the potential between the two plates. And when you decrease the potential, although you're adding area, 
you're going to be decreasing charge because the uh, material moves with a certain because of the electric field applied not because of the voltage so therefore the capacitance has this you know expression area which is which makes sense decrease the thickness you increase electric you decrease electric field that's why you're going to get a lower uh, ability of the material to store charge for a certain capacitance and therefore uh, also as you increase the area you're linear, linearly, linearly, linearly increasing the amount of material uh, but you are not changing the electric field if you made these equations up here you know relative to the electric field for example if you want to take this so E's uh, use for energy here I'm just going to call it U again now We'll do this quick exercise. So what, what I said the capacitance was the area times the dielectric, relative dielectric permittivity times the dielectric permittivity of, uh, of free space divided by thickness times voltage squared, which is uh, the electric field times the thickness squared. So one half area we'll keep that as area see these two cancel out so we're left with one times thickness times electric field squared see so it increases with the electric field squared here and the same thing we have here q equals e n but this the uh, problem happened where uh, actually if you keep the electric field constant then the energy also uh, becomes constant. The energy also uh, increases with squared. But just the capacitance, it's kind of a different term, and they act together in a little bit of a unique way.